think that's good. Like, I'm in the way here. Okay. Okay, back to our work. Mark, there's a, a, bit, a video I'm going to listen to a, a, in a little bit here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, bye. We will see. First, we're going to do our spelling. I'm not making any promises. Mm. We're spelling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. All right, are we still working on the Thanksgiving lesson? Mm. Let's see. Yes, we definitely did the one about pardoning, right? Okay. Mm. Here we go. Okay. Mm. of Thanksgiving, there is a controversy that does not get discussed enough when the history of this holiday is presented to the American public. Native Americans and other Americans feel that the relationship between the Wampanoag people and the pilgrims was portray portrayed as sunshine and rainbows in the context of the Thanksgiving origin story, while the reality was very different. The history and relations between European settlers and Native Americans is I got by. a long and I got by. I got by. first spelling. Okay. I got by. First. Fine. Okay. Go by. We'll see. Um, we'll see. If it's still windy, if it's too windy, we can't go. We'll see how the wind is when we're done. Okay. Now I'm trying to get this long word, hard word. I don't know how to say it. Sam Sanguinary. <laughs> I don't even know that word. S A N G U I N A R Y. That means involving bloodshed and killing. Okay, so they, as a long sanguinary period of conflict, C O N F L I C T. It resulted in tens of thousands of Native American deaths and a loss of their land, culture, and traditions. Instead of celebrating Thanksgiving, Native Americans and allies gather at the top of Coles, C-O-L-E-S, mm -hmm. Hill, H-I-L-L, -L, mm -hmm. while overlooking Plymouth Rock. They perform an annual demonstration, D-E-M-O-N-S-T-A-T-I-O-N, called National Day of Mourning. First Fa. spelling. And Fa -bye. We'll, we'll see. M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. The day of mourning. That means sadness. Um, this started back in 1970. The National Day of Mourning is dedicated to the Native Ancestors, A-N-C-E-S-T-O-R-S, and the Native people's struggle for survival during those hard times. Okay, yes, not everybody was a winner in that, were they? Okay, let's start with some mm -hmm. some uh, spelling words. What do we got here? Okay, back up a little bit. That's fine, that's fine, that's good. Okay, the first word is conflict. Now go very slow and look right at it. Yep, C, and, O, and, that's right, and, 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 okay, C, yeah, move your eyes. C, okay, C, O, N, Ancestors. 
Okay. Uh, and and look uh, again. Uh, Thanksgiving, Native Americans and allies gather at the top of blank blank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
probably should have done our exercise before this. The, what is easier this way? <laughs> the history and relations between European settlers <laughs> and Native Americans resulted in loss for Native resulted in loss for Native Americans. Name one that I mentioned. I don't even remember mentioning this. It only has oh oh I do remember now. Okay. Name, so basically, name one loss that the Native Americans suffer. Okay? You think about it, I'm going to write it out. I wrote down, name one loss that the Native Americans suffered as a res at the hands of the Europeans, or because of the Europeans. Controversial. I'm going to write it out. You think about it. What is another holiday recognized as controversial? I was thinking Columbus Day, because now they call that Native American Day or something, or Indigenous Peoples Day, I think is what they call it. Um, okay, I don't know, the last question is really super hard. So, let's move on. You know what? Look, that's the end of the Thanksgiving one. I didn't realize we were done with that. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and start a lesson on Diwali. And this started um, right after Veterans Day, but I wanted to get the Thanksgiving one done, so we skipped it. And there's two parts to this one, so we're going to be on this one for a while. Okay, so this is a, a um, Indian culture custom, I think. I don't know much about it at all, to be honest, so we'll both learn. Okay, Diwali, D-I-W-A-L-I. 
also known as the Festival, F-E-S-T-I-V-A-L, of Lights, L-I-G-H-T, is a holiday that is celebrated by Hindus, okay, H-I-N-D-U-S. Hindus are followers of the religion Hinduism. Hinduism is practiced mainly in India, I-N-D-I-A, where it originated in approximately 2000 B.C., over 4,000 years ago. It is also celebrated in areas where Hinduism spread, such as Southeast Asia and parts of the West Indies. Indi Indians in the hmm, diaspora, D-I-A-S-P-O-R-A, that's the dispersion of people beyond their original mm -hmm. homeland, also celebrated in places like New York, New Jersey, Texas, and California. Similarly, it is practiced in other Indian origin communities in European and African countries, to name a few places. The date that Diwali is celebrated changes each year because the Hindus follow a lunar, L-U-N-A-R, calendar. Diwali usually falls within the months of September, October, and November. Okay, well that's interesting. So this year it just happened to be the day after Veterans Day, so it was in November. Okay, let's do some questions about Diwali. Starting out here, Diwali is celebrated by who? <coughs> Diwali could be celebrated. 